what's the color? I need to know what's the color. Hi, I'm Antricia Averin. And I'm Carolyn Wiggins. Welcome to The Color of Success, where we showcase, motivate, and celebrate culture, creativity, and success of ordinary people. We often talk about real life issues. We're talking about one today. We have our continuation show on energy healing. With us today is Hoberly Frey. She is our energy healer and author of the book, The Super Quack. Healing from out in left field. Don't forget that when you take a look in online and you're surfing, Amazon.com or Barnes and Noble, pick it up. It is interesting read. Today we're back with Hope or Lee, and we're going to be talking about her adventure to South America. Everybody. I know you heard about this on Oprah, John of God. Well, Hoberly went to South America to visit John of God, who is the energy healer guru and we want to talk to her about her experience how was that like for you it was really interesting i was there for almost a month that's a long time it was it was yeah. a long time most people go there for one or two weeks some right. people are there much longer it was i went there for the experience yes. i would have liked to have had some healings i okay. didn't experience that too much myself personally i did see some very interesting things okay. but i blogged my whole journey on my website which oh. is the superquack.com oh, good. and if you go to the superquack.com and and uh, click on blog and okay. go to older posts okay. i pretty much started my blog by talking about the whole experience every three or four days i would I would say what had been happening. To me, honestly, yes. the most interesting thing was the people that I met there. Really? So many interesting people with their own stories, their own healings of other things. And my stuff is out of left field. Their stuff is out of I don't know where. But you said you like that, right? Oh, the I love more it. left, the more I you love like. It. I love the weird <laughs> stuff. I picked up a lot of really interesting stories. Yeah from other people doing that. Now, John of God embodies entities, and there's something there called the current room. There are two current rooms. So there's the main room where everyone goes, and I have to warn you, if you're planning on going there, there are about a thousand people that show up a so day. So you actually got in? Oh yeah, every day. I hear that a lot of people, they save up their money to go see John of God to and get healed, and they never get in there. Impossible. Is everyone that, that Everyone okay. that goes gets Good. in. The, okay. The, oh. Okay. He's, so tell us. But he's there three days a week. He's there Wednesday. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Thursday. Now I've forgotten. I think it's Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, and Friday. Okay. So the other days he's not there. But those three days. Now you could be lined up outside, waiting in the rain and the heat and the humidity for hours. Mm -hmm. But you will get in to see him. Everyone that is there can see him once a day. There. Are twice a day they have lines that get in to see him and they divide people up okay. depending on if it's your very first time going there if it's more than your first time sometimes okay. he'll call in special groups if you're going to have a spiritual surgery i had two spiritual surgeries while i was there okay so tell us tell us about it what does that I, entail? I can't i can't contain myself any longer <laughs> Because I saw him stick his finger in somebody and pull mm. a tumor out. I just need to know. It's um, real. If that was real. Absolutely. Can you start at the beginning from the whole oh, crystal wow. movement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's okay, so everybody, much to tell. Listen to this. Well, from from the whole crystal. Wait, okay, so mean? so now is it true that he brings everyone in a room and? He has all these crystals and you have to be really quiet because the crystals is That's, what br draws the energy in the room so that what he could heal? Is that Well, is that what how it happens works? is there are a lot of entities. There are a lot of beings that are no lo longer in physical bodies. Like dead people. Dead people. Yeah. Most of okay. them are doctors okay. or uh, theologians or a lot of the saints they okay. say come through and he will embody one at a time. And the people who work there can tell okay. who is embodied in his being, depending on how he walks. Some he, you know, they were wounded. So is it like a little, like a possession, a little bit, kind of like an entity possesses his body? Well, they do. They possess his body. He is totally out of it. He's completely in a trance. He has no awareness of what is going on. In fact, he. 
he uh, faints at the sight of blood. Now there's a picture of him, he had a stroke, he's had strokes and heart attacks because this energy takes so much out of him. He's doing really well now. I was okay. a little wary when I was planning my trip that he may not still be here, but okay. he looks like he's doing really well. There's a picture of him actually doing surgery on himself. The entity embodied him, and there's a knife. I think uh, you could see him making a wound in his sh around his shoulder area, and I think he pulled something out. He was paralyzed. When he was in entity, um, he had full use of his whole body. When, he w when the entity was gone, he had the appearance of the stroke. Incredible. Mm -hmm. That is just incredible. Wow. And there are books. Wow. There are books written about him. Wow. That that's really something. So, what did you get from all of that? What did you learn from him? Did you learn anything from him? Uh, just the whole adventure, seeing the whole thing, to me was the most interesting thing to see how it worked. When you're in the current room, you're talking about the room with crystals. Yes. There are two rooms where people are meditating for hours okay. at a time, and they need all of these people. Like batteries, your energy is helping him do the healing and having the embodiment experience. So does everyone have to be totally positive in that room, thinking positive so that He's harnessing good energy. No, you don't no. have to, they don't okay. tell you to focus on anything. It's just go into a meditation, just go into the silence. And there are people there that are reading from the Bible. They're saying the yeah. uh, Lord's Prayer, Hail Mary, saying different things, doing different prayers. Okay. Did you learn any techniques? Though? I did not because he doesn't teach. Oh. And there are no techniques to learn. He just does the healing. Okay, okay. And you weren't able to observe anything that you may have been a little familiar with to kind of polish up or anything. It was just an it experience. Was, yes. So did he heal you? Did he do anything? When I went through the line, um, okay. I told him I wanted to work him to work on my eyes. I do wear glasses. Okay. And he asked if I wanted my eyes scraped. So the three main things he does is he scrapes people's eyes. He takes a blade and a knife and he literally holds your eye open and he scrapes the eye. Did he do that to he you? He did not because I said, no, thank you. <laughs> they said spiritual <laughs> surgery is as powerful as the physical surgery. The second thing is he takes a long... You were like, I can think about it and harness good thoughts to my eye and it'll <laughs> clean it out, right? <laughs> well, I, I went in for the spiritual where entities came in okay. and they worked on me that way. Oh. And they said that's as powerful. Some people need the physical in order to really believe because if nothing happens, you say nothing happened, and other sure. people say, no, no, I trust, I have the faith. Sure, sure. The other thing is he sticks a, I think it's like a hemostat, which is like about this long up the nose, and they say it goes up to here, and he twists it around, and people can hear crunching. And each of these things that he does, like That's scraping really the eye. close to the brain, though, it, right? Yeah. Scraping okay. the eye is not necessarily for the eye. It can heal a hip, it can heal cancer, it, it can heal an abundance of things. So it's not a direct correlation. Oh, I see. The okay. other thing is he'll stick a knife in someone and he'll pull things out. And is what he happens pulling to out the wound? <laughs> I mean. You know, there's very little blood in the, I don't know, 30, 40 years he's been doing this. There's no sterilization. Wow. Um, no one has ever come down with an infection. So that's how they know. I read that too. And I'm laughing out of just <laughs> fear and anxiety listening to you. But this is really, really incredible because I, I did some research on him. And, and I found also that he has never lost a patient. And incidentally, we just heard about him, but he's been doing this since the like early 70s or something like this. And it, I mean, this is incredible. And so many people have testimonies that, you know, they came to him and another entity took over and he went in and he did surgery and, and they're great now. So right. I was just wondering if you saw that happen. Did you see I did someone? see some things. I saw okay. one woman who her leg was out to the side okay. because she had cor cartilage was missing in her leg. And the morning after her spiritual surgery, she and I had spiritual surgeries together. The uh -huh. next morning, she came to my door and knocked on my door and and she said, "Look at my feet." And I looked at her feet and I said, 
yeah, what am I looking at? And she said, they're together. I haven't been able to put my feet together in years because her leg was out to the side wow. and I didn't notice that. Are you serious? And she burst out in tears and hugged me and said, this is truly a miracle. Wow. Now she's not 100% and she does have a little bit of pain, but she said it's not the degree that she used to have. That's so incredible. something definitely something happened. Something happened. And she was not physically touched by anyone. You talk about uh, um, getting back on, on, on your book because I'm just, all of this is coming into my brain like crazy. You talk about there being, I think you said eight dimensions, did you, in, in your book? And eight, no, three? Hmm. Mm. I thought it was eight. I thought I, I read. I'm not sure eight, eight exactly dimensions. what you're. And what I was you're just, I was to, just so. wondering about like the energy source. You know where all of this is coming from. That's where I'm going with it in my mind. And um, that's that's and such a big topic. It's too 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 it much. Is. And it and is. also I was just wondering too. I know you said that you did a healing on someone and you worked on their back or neck or something. And then afterwards all of that pain when that person left it had when come into you. your entity and you were in pain. How do you prevent that from happening in this line of work? Because it sounds like this is a like a transfer of energy, like you're, you're healing, you're taking away this poison, but it's coming into your body. And you also said something basically almost with about John the God, uh, you know, in his experiences with the entities going into his body and leaving him just zapped. It, it sounds like it's pulling from your entity. How do you prevent that? How do you renew yourself after you do all that? I, I actually do talk about protection in the book okay. towards the end of the book there. But honestly, I don't believe I need protection okay. um, with the work that I primarily do. In that case that you were talking about, I had just first started doing Reiki, and that was back in the uh, mid-80s. Yeah. And I was told when I put my hands on anyone, the energy would turn on and it would do its thing. I'm basically a hose. The person I'm working on, their body draws the energy through me, and it's universal life source. Yes. So it's not my energy. I don't get depleted at all when I work on someone. In this case, it was the first person I think I had worked on they asked me to work a, a whole life convention, something like that, and this gentleman was walking by. And I said, can I do this? Cause, because we were just talking about Reiki and showing mm -hmm. people what it was. Really, I was such a novice, it was my first time. I asked this gentleman to please sit down, and he said, no, no, I'm fine. And I said, well, you know, at least sit down and rest your feet a little bit, and I'll just put my hands on you. Do you have any problems? And he finally acquiesced and he said well yeah I can't turn my neck I have this thing there so I thought oh goody someone to work on so I put my hands on him for maybe five minutes ten minutes and I said so how does that feel and he said I told you nothing was gonna ha <laughs> well this is funny I can move my neck now oh yeah this is great thanks and he got up and he walked away and I couldn't my neck was in this position for about I don't know a week so but what caused that I wanted to take his pain away my intention was to take his pain. Okay. So my body took his pain. So you took it. That is not, that's not how it works. But our intention oh, is see. energy. Thoughts oh. are energy. Okay. Thoughts are so powerful. In fact, if I can say you can the talk Bible to your says body. That. The, actual, the mm -hmm. Bible actually says that about our, our thoughts and, and you what can, we say. And yeah. you can talk to your body and what you say about your body, your body hears. Your cells have awareness. Oh. Now they don't have volition. They can't choose and say, oh, I don't like that thought. We're not going to make that happen. But when we say this person is a pain in the neck, yes. your body hears that. When you say, oh, I'd rather give my right arm than, you know, your body hears these things. When you say, oh, my heart is broken. Because of your the way the hears mind this. and the nervous system, everything is just worked. Because there's consciousness. Wow. There's awareness. So we have to be really careful. Really careful. What we and say. to about love what we say. our bodies. So yes. many people get so angry. Can I tell you a story? I think I had written this sure, one in the book sure. as well about a medical intuitive who was being interviewed by a gentleman. And he said, well, can you read my body? Mm -hmm. And she said, well, there's something going on with your spleen. She said, your spleen is very, very confused. And I'm not sure why. And he said, well, let me tell you what happened. I had something wrong, a diagnosis going on with my spleen. Mm -hmm. 
and um, I know about talking to my body. I know how important it is. So I started telling my body, my spleen, that it was healing, it was healthy, it was well, it was vital, it was energetic. Yes. And I didn't notice anything changing, and I got really mad. So I started yelling at my spleen and telling it, what's wrong, what's wrong, why won't you heal? She said, your spleen was starting to heal, but it was slower. Your spleen doesn't know why you were yelling at it, and now it doesn't know what to do. Just confused. It was it. confused. It was very confused. There's this another is interesting. What technique is th this? Is the right? Is this no, right? that's this just isn't. talking to your body. <laughs> that's not it. It's just, <laughs> just being in tune with your body. Well, Say more about things uh, what about I would your like body. To ask Every part. Is more about the muscle technique. I would um, love to do you, that. Like, do May me? I demonstrate. Yeah. I would love yes, to do yes, you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what, what we're going to do is Hoberly is going to demonstrate a muscle technique on Carolyn um, and you'll do a diagnosis will you or is that how that works? Well what I can do is I do have I have one of my allergy kits oh, good, here good. so one of the okay. things I love to do is clear people of allergies oh, and good. usually if it's one or two few allergies if someone has a lot of allergies it's usually a problem with the immune system okay if they have just a few allergies what happens is the body thinks that this is a toxin and it creates histamines, it makes you sneeze, it makes your nose run, you have Headaches, physical, whatever, because it's trying to protect you from what it perceives to be a danger to the body. It's just an overstimulation. There's a wrong message somewhere telling the immune system this is what's going on. So I can reprogram it and convince the immune system this is harmless, and then the person doesn't have a reaction anymore. These are usually permanent, okay. and usually for each individual treatment. How many it, treatments do you have to have? Before Hopefully you're one. Oh, okay, let's Hopefully see. Hopefully one. Is there a particular? And I don't know if I have uh, a vial um, for what you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, grass. And I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I didn't bring all okay. my vials. I but have more. You know what? Can I do a real treatment later uh, for you? And right now, I'll demonstrate what a treatment oh, looks okay, like. Okay, good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll I'll open up these. We'll just pull one vial out for the heck of it. So I need you to. You can go ahead and sit for this okay. part. And if I can have your arm. You're at the doctor's. Relax. Uh, <laughs> hold very strong. Show me no. Hold strong. Perfect. Show me yes. Hold strong. And the body can't resist. Good. <sighs> so that's what happens. I get a yes or no when I talk okay. to now, the body. Now, did you talk to the body like telepathically or was that I do, some but energy? that was out loud. So I wasn't talking okay. to you. So you did not make your arm go no, down, right? I didn't. So hold strong. Say not times five million. Not times five million. That's just a little trick to strengthen your body. <laughs> okay. So hold strong. And you feel I'm pushing, I'm pushing, and there's nothing there. I can barely push now. Watch this. Show me yes. Hold. And see, there's nothing wow. there. So uh, okay. show me no, hold strong. Good, you're good. Hold this vial. Now we're gonna be testing that to see if you're sensitive to the energy in this vial. Hold strong. So you're a little weak to that. So let's go ahead. Can you read it? All sweeteners. Sweeteners, or okay. And boy, so there's does she like and I, those? <laughs> and you yes. know what? I am <laughs> weak to artificial sweeteners. Okay. I'm not supposed to have them. Good. So what I want to do is find out where in your body, which meridians okay. is a sensitivity. So I'm going to have to probably show my back here. But go ahead and relax this okay. arm. I just need to touch here. Hold real strong here. So you're good there. I'm going to push on these meridians. Hold strong. You're good there. So let me do this the other way. Can I use this arm? Now, is yeah. that the allergy meridian? No. Okay. Th these are all the meridians. Okay, these are gotcha. the main meridians okay. in the body. I'm okay. having a little bit of trouble getting your wrists just because of your bracelets. Oh, I'm sorry. I would have taken them off. Hold strong. Good. We're there. And hold. And that looks good. Can I t have you take your finger and touch right here? Hold strong. Oh, there too. And up here. With, uh, with, with this finger, it doesn't matter which. Hold strong. Okay, so the meridians I've found where you have a problem are these two meridians, the central meridian, the, in Chinese it's Du and Ren meridian, and then on the right hand, I think we were doing the, the superficials. Let me try that again. Hold strong. Mm, hold strong. Okay, so I think it's the deeper meridian. So I want you to stand up. And with this hand, touch here and here. Middle finger right there, and this finger right here. Good. May I have your back? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so now you are interacting with the frequency of what you're sensitive to while you're holding it in your other hand, and now you're accessing the meridians where you have um, a sensitivity in those meridians. So by doing this, I'm gonna clear, going down the central nervous system. Normally, I would also work on your head. How do you I don't, feel? I don't wanna disturb your good. hair. Okay, okay. Do you feel any chills, any temperature changes? That's a very common response mm -hmm. to clearing this. It feels this. a little warm. A little warm. Okay, so there are no chills, huh? No chills. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a chill. You're starting to get it? Okay. <laughs> so now it's bringing it from a deep level in the body out to the surface, and then we clear it along the, uh, the nervous system. So I'm going to lightly touch your hair. I don't want to mess it up. Normally, I, people leave and their hair's a wreck by the time, they <laughs> by the time okay. I finish with them but I don't want to do that on camera. Do you, how is it feeling now? Are you still feeling any chills? Um, was it just a momentary just thing? Just a momentary thing. Okay, so now what I want you to do is put the vial in your right hand, mm -hmm. and I want you to, this is gonna be difficult, I want you to wrap your fingers in the other side, the other wrist, there you go. And I want you to put your thumb on the outside here. I want you to put pressure on these meridians. Once again, I wouldn't do this with bracelets okay. uh, normally, but we work with what we have. So clearing the sensitivities to sweeteners, clearing throughout all time, all space, all locations, all orange or, origins, clearing through all meridians, clearing through all chakras, all glands, all organs, all systems, clearing 100% of the recurrent perverse data and negative cellular memory. So I don't know, this is just a, a quick speedy demo. Go ahead and sit and let's just see if there's been any shift in this. Maybe, maybe not, depending wow, on what we've done that so was far. Interesting. So hold strong. So you're talking to the body. Now look at this. When you're healing it. I, 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 I am. I do that. I saw you. Now do you see how before when she held this she was very weak. Yeah, hold it, strong. And you see how strong you are. So is. there's definitely been a change. I would also go through different finger positions. I would find out other areas wow. of the body where her body is reacting to the sweeteners. So is she a little cured from a, a little bit right now? If she goes through more treatments, then she won't be so she sensitive may be to totally, the sugar? She may be totally at this moment. And this is artificial sweeteners. This isn't sugar. So oh. sugar would be something else. Okay, That's the another artificial vial. sweeteners. I have to get that right. right. No oh. artificial sweeteners for you. Okay. Well, but but no, no, you're cured now. So you should, well, we need to test you. That was bit, interesting. Right? <laughs> so I the treatments better. are actually that very, very cool, very easy, very comfortable. Nothing now why, to be afraid why of. No, let me ask you something. Why can't these techniques be used in conjunction with Western medicine? Why can't you know? Why can't I get a medicine? Uh, you know, to you know heal and and also the energy healing. So. It just like wipes it out, totally. This does with, wipe it out totally. Without the, without, without the drug. Medicine. Medication. Without medication. Oh, Absolutely. You're about I've to had... just send the drug business to me. <laughs> I don't want to upset Falling anyone in the drug <laughs> business. <laughs> but this is, I've oh, had God. so many people who've been helped by allergies. And I have a few allergy um, stories in the book as well. Can you tell us, uh, can, you, can you tell our viewers, um, if you had anything to tell them about their body that could benefit their body, what, what would that be? Love your body. The most important thing is to send love, to send good thoughts, appreciation, gratitude, yes. forgiveness, all of those are really, I think forgiveness is the number one thing that can heal almost any situation. Really? When we get down to it, I always work do forgiveness work on people no matter what the what the issue is. So is that usually kind of a primary core issue? Absolutely. Is, is us having problems forgiving ourselves, forgiving ourselves. And, and each other too, yeah. And, and it just grinds at you. And, and I'd like to say a little bit about how I see forgiveness. I don't mean condoning bad behavior. Okay. Someone hurt us and they did something bad to say, oh, it's okay, you know, that happened and I forgive you. I, it's not. Forgiveness only has to do with us. It's letting go of the pain. Got you. You know, what happened happened, fine. But it's to, carry, to carry that pain, we're not hurting the other person. We're only hurting ourselves. Okay. So when you let that go, why continue to let that person who already hurt you hurt you even more by living in your head? 
And we, we even sometimes allow them to continue to punish us. Yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> this has been just a wealth of knowledge, um, I'm sure, for everyone. I hope this is something that everyone will kind of explore or think about a little bit, and, um, or a lot, I should say. And um, I just want to, again, talk about Hoberly's new book that was just released a couple of months ago, The Super Quack <laughs> Stories of Health from out in left field. You saw her demonstrate a technique on Carolyn. Um, this is really, really awesome what you've shared with us. And we are so proud of you and your accomplishments, the, the writing of the book, just everything, your, your dreams, the dreams that you had that came into your mind out from out in left field <laughs> that you brought into fruition, fruition to write this book and to come on our show and demonstrate um, healing techniques. We're very proud of you and we like to celebrate your success. And, and we start off um, our celebration by choosing a color. Yes. The color, Hoberly, that you select will represent the essence of These your spirit. Assorted um, oil pastels. And we also have various markers, different colors. Oh, I love blue. You love I think blue. I'm I think I'm going with this one. Okay. So blue is going to represent the essence of your spirit that you are <laughs> leaving with us today that you have probably taken along with you on this journey and we just want a bit of you. We want to keep a bit of you with us. So that's why we're asking you to, to, sign, our to sign our canvas. If I can get oh, your the color. cap off, I would be honored to do that. Oh, there you go. This is my good arm. Okay. Well, now you're stronger. We worked on you. And while you're doing that, we are going to pour a little sparkly. This is so exciting. This has been so much fun. Oh, Thank you so has much. Been. It's been, man, this has been good for me. I mean, because I think we all learned something new about the body. I, I enjoyed, Thank really you. enjoyed your book. And I thought this is really real because I've experienced a little bit of a few things that I read. And I thought like, this is phenomenal that someone can actually put this stuff into words and make it sound you know where it really is real and not sound like a you know quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> i know that's the title of the book but it, it really is very realistic and i think that a lot of doctors um here today are starting to kind of look a little bit into alternative medicine i'm not sh so sure uh, what areas that they focus in on, but I know that when you go in there, they touch certain little spots. So yeah, they I didn't do. know that those were meridian spots until you told us. I noticed them doing that. And I've also um, experienced uh, a provider that, that told me about like this alligator pepper. Re remember I told you the mm -hmm. alligator pepper for, for the cholesterol? And she's like, you know what? You don't need to take statins. You can go right there to the store and buy alligator pepper from the African markets. And she says, and you take, you know, three of the pods, and she says, and it will cut all of that out. And um, I was just like, wow, of course I was scared. <laughs> I don't <laughs> curl it. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like more in tune to this now. I think I might try to, you know, do something. So we want to so toast to alternative you. healing to alternative healing. Yes. Overly. Super quack. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. Yes. So we we toast to your success. And we wish you all the success in the world um, on your new book, The Super Quack. And I want everybody to take a look at that and don't forget to purchase it online. It's available right now. We want to thank you so much, thank Hoberly, you, for being our guest. What's the color? I need to know what's the color.